let's take a look at the Gemini board from Rabbit Labs for the Flipper Zero. So this is the board here and it is just a cool design. So it's to represent the dual twins Gemini and this board is for the 433 and 900 megahertz range. So it's a dual board and you'll see there's a little switch here that switches between the chips on the 900 and the 400 or 433. We've got the wonderful golden rabbit here with the Rabbit Labs symbol, the writing. We got the two, two chips uh, on the 400 or 433 megahertz chip. We've got a cool little rabbit printed on there. And then on the 900 megahertz chip, I believe what they've done is placed a QR code on this chip here. And that QR code, it looks to me, individualizes the board, almost like a serial number, meaning they can tell by the QR code who purchased this, who, who bought it. And this toggle right here toggles you between the 433 and the 900 megahertz chip. So let's take a look at that. Hook it up to the flipper. Oh, but before we do that, we need to make sure we connect our antennas. I always like to do that first. Running these boards without the antenna can damage the chip. So we want to make sure that we always plug in or attach the antenna. You don't need to do it too tight. Just enough to where it won't fall out. And that's what it looks like the antenna's on. These are LED lights letting you know which chip you're using. And right now I have it in the neutral position. All right, it's attached to the flipper zero. And let's turn on 433. So I'm going to switch it to the 433 side, which is the left side. And that's the light that turns on. 433. Now we'll go out, switch it to the other side, and the 900 megahertz comes on. So now I'm using the 900 megahertz chip. And if I come out and I switch it to neutral and I go back in, nothing. All right. Let's switch it to 433. We'll do an attack in that range. And we'll take another flipper, see what we can see. So I'll start the attack now. There it goes. On that 433. And let's see what we can see over here. There it is. All right, now we'll stop this attack. Go out and let's do something in a higher range. So we'll switch, we toggle that. And let's choose one. Here we go. 868. We'll start that attack. Oh, and there we go. I can see the attack happening. In that higher range there. So now it's running off of the 900 megahertz chip right up top here. We'll do that flip again, so boom, come out all the way, flip to the other side, do a 433, and that's what we're getting over here. Look at that. 
So it works, works perfectly. Looks great. Look at this thing. What a cool design. What a... Uh, um, knowing that those are the two ranges that are used heavily, creating a board that does that is very helpful. Not only is this thing a, a great, helpful board for penetration testing, it also looks wonderful. It's kind of like a little piece of art for your Flipper Zero. So this is the Rabbit Labs Gemini board. Does the 433 and 900 megahertz for the Flipper Zero. Pretty cool.